I gotta tell you, every time I taste your malt whiskey, it says something different. There's always a little nuance. The DNA is the same. It's very fruity, but it's not right there up in your face. There's a background of vanilla, just a hint of smoke. Where is that coming from? That's part of the barrels. That's Adirondack Cooperage, and it's the barrel program that we use. Barrel building was becoming a dying craft. There's no real manuals on how to cooper. There are some small books written, but there are no real standards. So all these shapes and sizes that you see with our barrels, I designed. Our machinery provides us with a really high accuracy on the parts that we use to produce these barrels. Although we still build these barrels by hand, most of the export wood is usually cut out of 80 to 100 year old oak trees, consistently aged 36 to 48 months, which is like wine barrel quality. So it's in the rain, the snow, the sun, the wind, all that for three years sitting out in the open slowly washes the tannins out and makes the tannins much mellower in the wood. Scientifically, there are like four compounds that we're interested in. The hemicellulose, lingons, lactones, and tannins. Each one of those chemicals make up a certain type of flavor. What we do here, we fire bend and we low temperature toast. By low temperature toasting and starting that heat process to the barrel, you're actually starting to break down those hemicellulotes and converting that into sugars, which is what the distilleries want. They need the sugars in order to break down and add to their spirits. There can be no chlorine or metals in the water that is used to fire bend the barrels, as it would completely ruin the flavor profile of a spirit. Both Schoharie County and the Adirondacks are famous for the quality of their water supply, and with his additional filtration system, Joe can guarantee a high level of purity for his barrels. You know, we have four different levels, four being the highest char, which is, it's very deep. And those higher chars will produce more vanillin compounds. And you get down to your number threes, and then now you're starting to get into lactones and the lingons in the wood, which is producing these vanillins and caramels. And then you go to the lower char levels, and now you're working into the lactones of that wood, which are producing those warmer woody coconut type flavors, which lends itself better to like malts and brandies. Your higher chars lend themselves better to bourbons and whiskeys and rye. So now that Ken has started pulling product out of our barrels, he also took a double gold at Denver International and several other medals. That was the reason that I set up was to elevate the craft distilling industry in the Northeast. 